haven't done anything, Mom. Two policemen were here looking for you. They know who I am. Good. What did you tell them? I pretended I didn't know what they were talking about. Let's keep it that way. I try not to listen to what people say. I avoid the news. I don't tell anyone you're my son. But still, I hear things about you, Bobby. Terrible things. They're true, aren't they? I knew they'd come, those two policemen. I'm sorry if it was an inconvenience, but it was necessary. One was short and stocky, longish hair. The other was taller, probably didn't say much. Yes. Oh, he is the hardest person to engage in a simple conversation. They said you were obsessed with death. They think you've killed people, Bobby. I am obsessed with death. It's the subject of my work. But art, as of now, isn't yet a crime in this country. I worry about you. I wish you'd be more careful. Mom. I'm fine. It's just that being in the public eye, I'm subject to more scrutiny than an ordinary person would have to endure. Why do you think I film everything? So I'll have proof. Camera never lies. Except it always does. Thanks for not bringing the crew tonight. I didn't have time to fix my hair. <laughs> you look fine. I don't think those cops will bother you again. But they do. Oh, I know how to behave. This will be over soon. What do you mean? We're there. Finally. Culmination of everything I've been working for. That's good, right? It's a dream come true. You were always a creative child. Not always the easiest to get along with. And now I'm Prince Charming. You raised me well. Mm -hmm. No, I think... I was so consumed with my own pursuits, I didn't always give you the attention you craved. Oh. Dysfunctional childhood explains everything. You were always good at spinning the truth. Like when you started the graffiti, you didn't call it art until you got caught. <laughs> well, what makes art art? Because I say it is? Well, I know it was that easy. I wouldn't have gone through all this trouble. What trouble? What have you done, Bobby? <sighs> what are you going to do? I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you too, Bobby. Do you want to sit down? Okay. Well, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. I came to apologize. See, without meaning to, I tend to get people all riled up. But I'd never harm your family. Especially your daughter. Some people think their babies are so cute when they're not. But your little girl is a real American beauty. Like the rose. I will kill you. I will beat you to death with my bare hands if you threaten my family. Wow. That's a little excessive, don't you think? I would never harm Jocelyn. We're all so connected. You, me, Jocelyn... Jason, Michael. What about Michael? Well, Colin's talking how it is. Seems that your oldest was quite the prize in prison. But thank God that he's out now. And everyone's home safe. 